Welcome Universe customer. If you want to use in U2 ODBC client or JDBC client to access your Universe account, you might not see any table. Or you have seen the table, but you might not see some column a missing in, in some table. So you need to understand how Universe schema or SQL table work on the Universe server. A universe have two type the account. One account type it's no schema. So for example like a uh, uh, HS sales or HS service is already activate for ODBC access but there's no schema we call dynamic normalization. If you're working on other account, you need to run hs.mn tool to activate your universe account. When you try to activate, you will create two important files. One is called .hs underscore file info cache file, another called hs file access. Sometimes your dictionary have some ODBC lemming compliant issue or some setting in the dictionary, you can run hs.scrub file autofix stick to fix some uh, dictionary setting. That's very important. Also, you need to understand ODBC naming compliance. Uh, you can see the on the YouTube ODBC user guide menu, talking about uh, by ODBC naming, you must be using uh, alphabetic plus the numeric character. You cannot use a special character like a dot, x sign, and they will change to uh, some other like an underscore character. Another it's very important called add sign select in the dictionary. They will define which column will visible to U2 ODBC client or JDBC client. Another type called uh, universe schema SQL account. Uh, inside your account, you need to have a SQL UV use, SQL user and define in the UV underscore users. So you can run SQL permission command. So first time you need to run create schema, you will store in the UV schema file. And you can create a table, create a view, and grant the permission to other user. If you have some file, uh, just a universe file, you can run a convert a SQL command to convert universe file become universe SQL table. After you convert it, then you can run this cycle command and to see the uh, information. So that's just tool inside HS.mn tool. So they have couple option to list the activate the ODBC account and show ODBC account. Um, or you can deactivate when you have uh, some uh, file or dictionary change, you want to uh, run HS.scrub command to uh, run in. And the option six will be uh, recreate the .hs underscore file info cache file, when you add the new file, then you need to uh, run the command or you can run from this the menu GUI interface. So how they work after you have a cache file in the ODBC client setting, uh, you have an auction using this by default where use cache info. So sometimes if your account is pretty big, recreate the cache file, it takes some time. So they will reduce performance, uh, concern the performance issue, so to make a connection. And I have another video to uh, tell you how to install ODBC client and download the driver. You can look at another uh, video. And this uh, link I will put on the uh, YouTube uh, description, field, description field, so you can download from there. 
So for this video, I also provide very useful tool. Uh, I call you can show .hs file info system cache file. So you use the make a UO connection and you can see it a more uh, easy way. If you go to uh, the server like Windows Unix machine, you can see it, but not easy uh, like the tool to show you one by one line. Another very useful tool will show you uh, when you connect to this account, uh, you can see which table is in the schema and which table is in the uh, the other account. So I, I, I will show you on, the, um, on my demo. So first, I have a one uh, account called UV demo. So I can log to. So inside this account, actually I already using a create schema command to create schema. So I can show you if you look at UV users. So they have already couple a uh, SQL user. So I can log in as the SQL user. I can run the command. So also uh, I already create schema for this particular account called UV demo account. So you can look at the called UV schema. So I already create called UV demos and uh, inside this account. So I can uh, create uh, any a uh, table a uh, view inside this account. So when I have an account, but I didn't activate for ODBC account. If you look at my a uh, tool program. Uh, for the tool program, I will put on the link on the description field. So normally, when you download it, and you can, for example, like uh, uh, download this program called uh, UV HS file info. This program you run the setup. After you set up, then you can see the program like this. And first time, I uh, if I run in the UV demo connection using UO. So for this, I will try to show you it's no, it didn't create that HS underscore file info. So it's no cache file there. So it's no information, but uh, so it's no cache file. Another program, uh, you also can down, download my another program, the another program called uh, ADO schema. So after you download this program, you install it. And after you install it, then you can see uh, this program like this. And I make ODBC connection. I connect to UV demo. And you will see the schema. Uh, I already have one table uh, called state SQL. There are only two fields. And you can see in under the table. But I don't have any dynamic normalization table to list here because I didn't use an hs.mn tool to activate. So next step, I will show you uh, to very important to run hs.mn tool. Log to hs.mn. So I run the tool. So for the tool, you can look at the list. Uh, I already have uh, by default hs.sales, h.service, but actually I have a not demo for hs.sales too. So I don't have a UV demo inside this account. So I want to uh, activate uh, to, so I using the three. So I can set UV demo. So when you activate, actually they create a cache file, also have called HS file access field. So after I create it, I go back to look at the my using if you use my tool. Uh, if you go to the file explorer, uh, this machine is a Windows machine. So after I create it, actually they have created called that HS file info. 
So actually, it's critical that HS file info. So if you open this HS file info, it look like this, just one line. So it's very difficult to see the, all the detail. So after this, I can run my tool to show you the, all the detailed information uh, called the, another program called uh, .cache file. So I can disconnect and make a connection again. Connect to UV demo after after I activate. So you will see the .hs file info information. They have some information in the ODBC menu. So you will see when you highlight it, the, the two, that means you can visible from your ODBC client or JDBC client. The others didn't highlight it, there's some some file is system file, so it's not available to access using ODBC client or JDBC client. So for this, you can use an another tool, give you a better idea to to get the more detail. So for this particular UV demo account, then you can see a lot of information uh, the different file. Also, you can get the uh, columns. For example, uh, for universe, a very special if have uh, multiple. Uh, if you have a uh, M fields like a, a mother value field, uh, like a customer orders, so it will become a different uh, table. So when you have on the universe size. For example, for example, log two. UV demo. So for this, this star from. So you will see the single value data here, and also have a mother body field. So when you have List, dig, a customer. So you will see the single value field and mother value field. So for the mother value field, because I have association together, so you will become another table. So when they you activate the process, then they will know uh, you will generate the table if you using the ADO. Open Schema 64 will show you uh, to two different tables. This information actually is come from the .hs file info uh, cache file. So you will see the two different tables. A uh, customer, so you will see a uh, which field will, will be part of the customer. And if you look at this one with another one. So for this, how they control it is controlled by uh, S select statement in the dictionary uh, item. So I can uh, if so right now I already have a state table. So inside, if you already have schema inside this account, so I can create uh, another table. Uh, for example, I will show you right now just only one. So if I can see where I am, where am I in UV demo? So if I create another SQL two, let's and try to create another table. So I can call state SQL two. If I just insert one record. So insert records, one record. So I can star stay SQL two. So I got a one record here. So that's just a, a SQL table. So inside here, if you go back to uh, another program, if I disconnect, I make a connection again. So you will see another uh, called state SQL 2. So that's just for schema things. So easy to uh, create it. 
And next, I want to show you if I add another file. So how they see it. So I, if I have another program to generate another uh, a program called a session. So this uh, VP. So I have a program to create a session file. So AE VP. So this one actually already created before. So already have this file. I using the program to generate this file. First time you if you create this one, then you won't be see it on the table. So you you want to run. Uh, you can uh, go to same thing to uh, using the hs.mn tool. So you can uh, log to So you can use in the uh, function file to hs.scrap or you can run the command called hs.scrap command It's the same thing And I can show you You can from menu site or I can go back to Run the command called H, uh, called UV demo. So that's the command. It's the same functionality called HS dot scrap. So wait. You will check all the dictionary and update some ID and make a ODBC naming compliant to verify they have set up the some SQL data type. So after you create it, it does not inside the HS.5 info. So you can use in the function six. So basically you can uh, run update the file cache or you can run the from here hs dot up update dot file in full it, it's just the same thing they just uh, recreate the dot cache file so after you create it if you go back to uh here you can uh, this one basically it just uh, you can disconnect uh, connect back and show so inside here, you will see here. So you will see a session here. I call a session. So let's just wait how you work. And inside here, and using another tool, you can see call a session table. So inside a session table, you will see uh, this one. So another one, uh, I will try to. Uh, already have a SQL table so for this file I if you want to uh, using uh, the SQL you can convert it so for example I can uh, convert so you can first using a list cycle command S I C A A C C E S S I O N so it said it's not the SQL file so I can use in the uh, command called convert C O M V E R T SQL create. So you you will convert the regular universe file became a SQL. So if you use in this way, you can see list S I C A
So it will show you the schema information inside uh, the SQL file. So after you create it, then we can go back to look at my tool uh, using ADO schema tool. So let's do another tool. UV schema, then actually have another call open. Okay, so where's so let's just tool same thing. So you see this uh, before before do the convert as SQL it became on this site, but right now it became another site. But you see the both because this one activates before. If you run the HS star update file info, it will, it will be different. So uh, we will also have a command and you can uh, reverse back. So you can run convert SQL A C C E S S I O N restore so you will convert back the SQL table back to the universe file so inside this the video uh, it show you what's the different and uh, concept so uh, for the universe file it can be uh, when they run the HS star file in full it can be expand to uh, many many table so for a simple customer just expand two table if your file have a multiple way to have a multiple ma value or you, you can be associate and no association if you have a no association then each one it will become the table so it can be sometimes it can expand 10 table and just for one universe file so you need to understand to know how they work uh, which the, uh, you can very easy to run the command this one uh, just looking for you can uh, export output to uh, its output to 10 folders so it's easy to uh, to see it to see uh, which table of variable to access from your ODBC client or JDBC client. So uh, if you using the uh, uh, another program, uh, so make it more easy to. So if you using another uh, program, so you can see it. Another program. So you can see uh, which table a variable to use. So you can download all the tools from the YouTube description field. So I hope you can enjoy this YouTube video and learn about universe schema and a SQL table. So you can access uh, your table using the ODBC client or JDBC client.